sometimes I have this really weird dream. Well, when I was younger, my parents used to throw me really fabulous parties up until I was about 12 years old. And I have this dream sometimes where I'm actually attending these parties, but as me, as a 22-year-old, and I'm actually playing and, and talking to myself as a child. And when I try to tell the child me to do something differently so that maybe the pattern of my life will change, I instantly wake up. And so when I have the dream again, I try to remember to, you know, just tell her everything is going to be okay and I have so many great things to look forward to in life. And I really think it's a sign that nothing, um, no one can change your, your path in life that God has planned out for you. Well, I think I would choose a little bit of both because there are so many different definitions of being beautiful and rich. If you're talking about financial wealth, there's that type of rich, there's rich in knowledge, there's rich in spirit, and I honestly think that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. There's so many different definitions of being beautiful, so I think to be successful in life, you have to have a little bit of both. Well, originally my mom is from Freeport, but now it seems like we have family all over the place in the Bahamas. So I've really gotten a chance to visit a lot of our other islands, and I know that there's something unique and special about all of them, but what I have to say that is my favorite one would have to be Harbor Island because the beaches are just exquisite. And now in the Bahamas, we're known for having beautiful beaches as it is, but the pink sand and the aqua blue water is second to none. And it's so relaxing and I love visiting there. So that's definitely one of the most beautiful places in the world, I believe, and definitely in the Bahamas. I'm passionate about gaining different life experiences. I feel like we're always evolving and I feel like we're always changing and we've never really arrived. And if we're able to see the world and see new things and experience new cultures and meet new people, it can really develop you tremendously. And that's something that I strive for in my life. I always want to gain a new experience and, and learn something new every day. I know that I would make a wonderful Miss Bahamas because I have the determination, I have the passion, and I have the ability to really succeed in this position. I know that I'm a young woman in this very progressive society and I know that I'd be able to foray the cause that transcends our borders. And I know that I would really be able to stand out on the global stage and represent the essence of what it is to be a Bahamian. So vote for me, Anastasia Pierre, to be your next Miss Bahamas 2011.